don't understand. Something really important is happening today, and I, I need to catch everybody up before it's too late. And, and, well, right, you're being adorable. Hey, um, I know this is, like, out of nowhere, but I want you to have my accessory stand. Oh, Puddles, that's so cute, you guys. I can just imagine she's, like, giving us some sort of necklace or something. <gasps> or what about a little best friend's bracelet? Oh, that'd be so cute. I don't need it anymore, and I just chuck it. But I'd hate for folks, especially, like, my fans, to think I don't, you know, recycle. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's adorable. So I hope my bestie, that's you, Rutabaga, can be my recycle buddy. <gasps> Puddles, I will always be your recycle buddy. All right, you guys. Well, Puddles has actually just helped us uh, think a little bit about recycling and how I do want to actually set up a really delightful, oh my gosh, everybody's out this morning, a really delightful uh, little flea market over here sometime soon. But although that's really wholesome and sweet and definitely part of the wildberry lifestyle, I actually have something shocking to tell all of you today today oh i don't know i don't know are we ready to talk about this yet i really don't know if i'm ready to talk about this this is this is gonna be a hard conversation friends and i i think we need to go ahead and we need to prepare ourselves um in fact i i, I hesitate to do this but i do think we need to prepare ourselves with the sorrow emotion because i do have some very conflicting, somewhat upsetting, somewhat tragedy-inducing news to tell all of you. Someone is moving out of Wildberry. That's right, someone is actually going to be moving away, friends. And and the time has come. I mean, to be honest, Ursula actually asked to move out a couple days ago. But before I could... Oh my gosh! Did we just lose that balloon because I had to run from a bunch of wasps in a tree? That is going to be so ironic. Oh, hey, Ice. Oh, look at the little fruit measuring stand. Oh, we're totally going to be getting that. Wow. All right. I'll be back in here to see what y'all are selling in a little bit. Thank you. Thank you. I do think they have some excellent barbecue and picnic uh, materials in there. Did we just lose our balloon? Like, do you lose your balloon if you go inside? We lost our balloon due to wasps of all things. Oh, my good gravy. All right, let me actually catch this little friend. No, no, come back. Ah, oh, I chased him away. All right, well, that's okay. <clears throat> anyway, friends, someone is indeed moving out of Wildberry today, but it, it, it's actually going to be okay because because they're going for a good reason and, and they're going to actually be back because thankfully I happen to have their amiibo card. So we're going to say that this is just a temporary move and this particular person will be returning very soon. I should say this particular villager because I suppose they are not people, but you know what I mean. But this particular villager will hopefully be returning very soon after. Dun, 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 dun. He goes away to Police Academy! So yes, guys, it is actually Pierce. Pierce has asked to move out because he wants to go train his muscles in a new place for a while. And I think after all of the struggles and interesting, uh, interesting events we've been having with Kitty, this is actually because Pierce wants to go and formerly be trained as our police officer. So that's going to be the little roleplay story. And if you're not here for the roleplay, I'm not sure why you're here, but I hope you're having an absolutely delightful time. Uh, but that being said, that's what our story is going to be. Pierce is moving away. He is actually one of our two founding villagers along with Ursula. And we are going to let him go. I have tried to make a, a promise to myself not to say no to any of the villagers if they move out. Ursula asked the other day to move out, but I exited just so that I could share that moment with you guys. And then her thought bubble disappeared. So apparently she changed her mind. <laughs> But Pierce did ask to move out so he could go train his muscles. He's going to go away to Police Academy, though. So it will be a little shocking not to have him here. And it does mean that by the time you guys see this particular episode, since it's going to be given to you on Saturday, we're going to be looking for a new villager. Hopefully we will be live streaming. I'm going to aim for maybe like 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We'll have to see. But hopefully we will be able to live stream a villager search as well as our weekly wonderful KK concert that we have. Uh, exactly if that works because of my internet remains to be seen, 
but it means that we'll have somebody who will be able to come and take Pierce's plot. And who that villager is going to be is going to be up to you guys if you join in on that stream. So do be sure to follow and subscribe over on our Twitch to be able to join in the fun there. Ah, okay. That being said, now that I have managed to go ahead and kind of try to catch you guys up on this drama, let's go in and let's see what we can say to Pierce after we get this balloon. Let's see what we can say to Pierce as he prepares to go. And then I'm going to show you guys the shocking secret of what Pierce has actually set up. Do you really think he would leave our island without any security? No, no. He's gonna leave our island with something very special as the security system. And I will show you guys what that security system is in just a moment here. First, the winds above Wildberry have a gift. All right, what's in here? Let's see. We have got a saxophone. Are you kidding me? How fun. Let's put the saxophone down and let's actually see. Oh, there's another tiger beetle. Those guys sell for a lot and I need a lot of money. I am very much the broke and I actually owe Chips 700,000 bells. And uh, you guys will have to find out in the live stream that was either yesterday or will be showed to you guys tomorrow on YouTube uh, why I owe Chips 700,000 bells. We'll talk about it later. All right, we're aware. Oh, <gasps> two of our fave girls are talking, Meringue and Sky. Recipe book club members extraordinaire. <gasps> They're gonna cook again. Okay, sounds like we're all set. I'll stop by your house with it as soon as I can, Novel. Thanks, this is going to be great. Wait, before you go, can I ask, do you know that you're saying Novel all the time? Of course I know that, silly. I say it because on purpose because it's my personal catchphrase. Saying Novel cheers me up, and I like to think it makes my friends happy too, Novel. Well, they've had this conversation before. All right, I think they're going ahead and yeah, you guys go for it. Oh, they're so cute. I think they're just being really nice to each other again. So these two really love cooking together. <laughs> they really love cooking together, which I think is absolutely adorable. So I'm, I'm thinking that they're going to have another little like cooking recipe read off. Good morning and here's hoping to, that it'll be a good day, Novel. Today's already fun, Novel. I'll say. All right, yeah, I think that that was just a sign that they're going to have another one of their adorable little um, book clubs. Where did Sky just vanish to? Oh, there she is. <gasps> She's watering my flowers. Oh, thank you, Sky. That was wonderful. So much to see, even when you're just out for a walk, Novel. Did you know that today is Pierce's last day here? I'll miss him. It was fun while it lasted, Novel. I know, right? Oh, hang in there, guys. It is Pierce's last day for now, but we do have his amiibo card, and so the plan is to actually go ahead and invite him back. Uh, we're not going to let him stay away forever, but he does need to go train at the police academy, so let's go say hello to him. Oh, I'm gonna miss him. This is gonna be interesting not to have, like, our best buddy cop here. He's even wearing his police outfit. Oh my goodness, Pierce. Oh, I'm gonna miss you. I think he's telling me not to be a sap. Champ, hey, I took your advice. I'm moving. The bad news is I won't be around to compare muscles with. The good news is I get to lift all my furniture. Keep getting stronger. I'll be cheering for you. Thank you, Pierce. He's gonna come back. Don't worry, guys. This is just, clearly, I mean, he's wearing the uniform. He is going to go to police academy. He's doing a good job of, like, cleaning everything up, leaving no evidence behind. I think I'm going to join the circus. I'll be an awesome strongman. And if I spot you in the audience, I'll bring you on stage for a little weightlifting contest, Splash. That's hilarious. I'm not going to slack on my new home. Let's see, 1,000 crunches, 1,000 push-ups, and 1,000 squats. That should be a good warm-up. Oh my gosh, Pierce. All right. Well, I'm very glad that he has packed up. Uh, not because I want to see him go. The opposite, actually. This is actually quite, quite alarming to, like, see that Pierce is actually moving out. There we go. That he's literally in boxes. Oh, this is so cute. I love how we can do so many pictures with him. However, he is wearing his police uniform and he is going so that he can do some training. Whoops, Pierce, you were supposed to... Ah, there we go. So he is leaving for training. 
and I look forward to his grand return. So I think maybe in a month or so, we will, if that, we will invite him back and then he'll actually have his actual house, which I think will be pretty exciting. But all right, Police Officer Pierce, I'm very proud of the work you've done here in Wildberry. And you guys, that is not all. We do actually have something. Here, I need, I need to go ahead and add in the surprise emoji again, because I use this quite a bit. <laughs> I love his surprised face. Oh, that's adorable. But we do actually have something that Pierce is going to be leaving us with for security. So let's go to my house real quick. Thank you, Pierce. He would not just leave the island without any sort of security system. Not when we have things like Miss Kitty still on the loose. So let's go back to my house. Oh, let's check on Ursula because she is usually our DIY wizard this early in the morning. She is constantly churning out those DIYs, I'm telling ya. Oh, but not right now. Ursula? Aloha, stay as long as you like. When you need a place to pile up your own open mail, nothing beats a diner, din a diner dining table. Ursula, oh my gosh. You hear what Annie was up to on that visit from Wazowski a while back? I saw him hanging out by the water fishing. I've never seen someone look so focused, group. Okay, that's hilarious because that is a reference to our uh, frog catching competition we actually just had. <laughs> oh, Ursula, that's hilarious. All right, well, we'll take a peek at the other villagers really quickly to make sure we don't miss the daily DIY. And it's so much easier to find the daily DIYs when all of our villagers live next to each other. I saw Julian out, so I bet it's Sheldon. Oh my goodness, I can't wait. Uh, tomorrow, uh, on Sunday, if my internet cooperates, we're actually going to be having, by the way, Sauropod Sunday! Originally, we were going to do Fossil Friday, but then my internet stopped working on Thursday, and so we had to move the, like, cleaning up after the frog competition live stream. So do keep an eye out for Sauropod Sunday, if you guys would like to join us for that as well. We have so much to do, so much going on. All right. Sheldon, he is not the backup security that Pierce is leaving behind, but he is someone very reliable when it comes to protecting Wildberry. Oh ho ho, and he is working on something new. What is it? <gasps> Honeycomb flooring! Oh, that's so cool, Sheldon! Someone actually just sent me the recipe for honeycomb flooring, but that is so perfect that our firefighter squirrel who lives in the forest would teach us this. And now I can go ahead and save it and a whole bunch of the wasp nests, like the one I need to pick up behind the Able Sisters. Uh, but we can go ahead and we can save this to be able to share with somebody in the future. That's gonna be fun. How are you doing today, Sheldon? It, well, it's time. Pierce is leaving tomorrow morning. When I think back and picture all the amazing workouts we did together, I'm amazed at how built I look. Sheldon. Uh, so Sheldon is still our junior park ranger and our firefighter, so he will also help to protect Wildberry. Do you know if Shauna went back to Brooksville? Word is they were in a fishing frenzy. They were casting all day. Okay, all my villagers are so tickled. Their shoulders are going to be so sore tomorrow. I'm in the splash. All my villagers clearly absolutely love uh, the hilarious, I wish we had the laughing one. In fact, can, do I have a laughing emoji? Or emotion? Because I would like to actually change this to a laughing emotion. Yay, yeah, do! Oh, I've learned so many new things. That makes me really happy. But I think that's hilarious that my villagers are still talking about the frog catching competition we had. All right, anything else, Sheldon? <sighs> Sheldon, thank you. I know, I probably shouldn't be burying bells in the forest. I bet as a junior park ranger, he would be somewhat concerned about that behavior. We'll talk about that later, Sheldon. All right, meanwhile, let's wiggle back home. And I'm going to show you guys the really cool security system that Pierce is going to be leaving behind. Oh, I should pick up these clumps of weeds in this branch while I'm at it that Pierce is going to be leaving behind to make sure that Wildberry is still secure in his absence. Also, we might turn in a couple of the animals that I have actually caught recently <laughs> to Blathers. All right, so let's see. I need to put this purple hyacinth reef up in the attic too. So we're gonna wiggle on upstairs. And here we are. All right, friends. Let's dim the lights a little, because this is the room. Give me just a moment. Here we go. 
But this is the room. Where Pierce is actually going to leave behind something to be able to help protect Wildberry. And let's wiggle this way. I need to go ahead and find it. But you may recall that a couple days ago, we actually ended up getting our hands. Apparently, I have another saxophone, by the way. Hmm. I'm collecting them. But a, a couple days ago, we actually managed to get our hands on some surveillance cameras. And so before Pierce has left, he has actually taken some of these surveillance cameras. And he has sprinkled them around the island of Wildberry. Look at that. Isn't that fascinating? That is really cool. Wow, look at him move around! That is so cool! Alright, let's go ahead and drop these, because we are putting all of our extra DIYs up in the attic with the mysteries that we have. Alright, let's put the other surveillance camera over here. But Pierce has gone ahead and he has installed security cameras all over the island. And we will be the ones using them to keep a close eye on the activities that might be going on. And I should definitely show you what that's going to look like. And let you know that you're going to see these security cameras activated most often when we are actually doing our live streams. Which I mention so much because they truly have brought a special kind of life to Wildberry. And of course, this is not to spy on our citizens. Don't, don't get caught up in such thoughts. This is absolutely just to make sure that, you know, everybody's safe and happy. Uh, let, me, let me see if I can shake this tree and activate this one real quick. Aha! And there we go, friends. The security camera. Located in our security trees! Security trees, of course. Uh, they will be dispersed throughout the trees in Wildberry, and they will help us to keep a good eye on just what's going on with all of the Wildberry citizens, keeping them safe. Not, not, not spied on, safe. Remember, that's our motto, safe, not spied on. <laughs> and, oh my goodness, Meringue, see, see, the security camera is helping us understand that Meringue actually has a flea that we no doubt need to help take her care of uh, pretty quickly here. Uh, but these security cameras will actually go up usually during breaks in live streams. Meringue is having such a hard time with that flea. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but they will go up during breaks in live streams or during times where I'm like catching up on chat. And that will be where you guys will actually end up being some of our security members during the chat live stream and helping us to deepen the role play and figure out just what our citizens of Wildberry are up to. So. Good to know that they're there. Clearly, Pierce is not leaving us unprotected, and we will have to use this power wisely. But all right, now that we have gone ahead and showed off our new security cameras that are hiding in the trees around Wildberry, let's help out Meringue. She doesn't need to know that we used our high-tech security system in order to help her, like, with her flea problem. Ugh, did anyone see you catch a flea on me? Sorry, I should be thanking you for that novel. Oh, there you go, Meringue. I keep hoping that I can actually get their uh, villager pictures from doing those quests now. I recently learned that villagers who have really high friendships with you can actually give you pictures. I was stunned and a little aghast that nobody on the island has given me one of their pictures yet. Am I truly not best friends with Cranston? Am I truly not best friends with Meringue? We are going to do our best to try to make that happen because I love the villagers so much. I would love to have their portraits. But that means we need to deepen our friendships with them, friends. All right, how you doing, Meringue? So recently I saw Marsh from Ashlonia. I hear they're great at fishing, maybe even as good as you. Oh, I didn't mean to, to compare you like that novel. I just heard they caught a lot of fish. <laughs> oh, I think my villagers loved the frog catching competition. That's really, really wonderful to know, actually. All right, so now that we have gone ahead and showed off Pierce and his security system, I actually do need to do a little tidying up before... Ooh, what are you, friend? Why don't you come right over to me? But we do have a few bugs and or a, a bug, at least one bug that I know of, and a few fish that we need to turn into blathers. So I think we'll go ahead and do that together. Sea bass, I think. Oh, yep. There we go. And then I also want to go ahead and recolor 
This harp! It turns out I think you can customize this harp, so I want to make Julian's harp even fancier. So that our boy Julian, of course, will be content and happy and never think about straying from Wildberry Shores. Though we do have his card in case we need. Wait. There we go. Got this butterfly. All right. Oh, I love- ah! Get in the net! I think I may- oh, there he is! We got him! <laughs> All right, caught the locust. There we go. And we may have to put away like the tricycle because police would or Pierce would definitely take his police bike with him after all. Hmm. Maybe when he comes back, we can get him an even better like little police thing. That would be really cute. All right. Tommy, Timmy, how you doing today? I actually owe Chips a lot of bells, so it's going to be very important to me to try to make up the difference of the money as much as possible. Oh, and I can put the high-end stereo back down here for the boys to enjoy. Um, we could probably give the label knit shirt to one of the villagers soon. I want to make sure I've given the anchovy to uh, our good, wonderful bladas before I do anything with it. Rattan wardrobe. I have the- oh, and we didn't even look at the accessory stand yet that our wonderful puddles gave us. Let's see what kind of necklaces and things and friendship bracelets that Puddles gave us, because I could totally see her giving us some fashion. Perhaps that's her way of saying, you've been wearing those cucumbers for a long time now, Rutabaga. Have you thought about changing out of them? <gasps> Sunflower parasol and petal parasol. Oh, these still my heart. I love it. Also, are there any red? No red roses, unfortunately. But I do think I actually crafted enough red roses the other day, or I, I gathered enough red roses over the last few days when I went to visit my sister's island, which has a lot of red roses, just for the record. Uh, actually, let's get another batch of customization pieces. I don't know how hard it'll be to customize this harp. But yeah, actually, now that I think about it, I do think I crafted enough, or I got enough roses to craft Julian's rose bed! Oh, you guys, we should go ahead and we should definitely go craft that up because it'd be perfect for the live stream I'm having later tonight. Bye, boys! I think they're just shocked. They're like, oh my gosh, she just started yelling. All right. By the time you guys see this, I will hopefully have made a brand new super secret, super special area based around a certain frog since we had the frog catching competition. But we'll have to see how, how things play out. Also, by the time you guys see this, I should have picked up all of these decorations. Julian, my boy, how you doing today? Buongiorno. That means it's going to be a great Gennaro in Italian. <laughs> you want to talk about your life story? I would love to talk about your life story, Julian. Today is Pierce's last day on Wildberry. I know I'll see him again, but I'm still going uh, to send him off with an over-the-top melodramatic dance routine. Pierce, I love that. Or Julian, I love that. Did you know that Kyle from Clover recently graced us with their presence? I heard they've been having a ball on Wildberry, just partying non-stop. To that I say, enchante. It's Portuguese for, you're welcome. <laughs> I don't know about that, Pierce, but thank you. All right, let's put down the high-end stereo. I think my villagers miss singing over here. Oh, speaking of which, it's Sky. I wonder if she was chasing the locusts. All right, and I'm going to turn on Forest Life. Still, let's do, let's do Welcome Horizons for a little bit because I just watched the actual people who perform Welcome Horizons perform that on Twitter as a little orchestra. Oh, Minge, what do you need? And it was really cute. I, I retweeted it in case you guys want to see it. <gasps> If it's all right with you, I'd like to give you a cute music player. See, I told you the villagers wanted to do more singing. I set it aside, so still in mint condition. I'm glad I saved this for you, Tweedledee. Oh my gosh, I've been meaning to give Midge a cute music player because she gave us her, or like she put hers away for one of the gifts we gave her. And it's so silent in her house. And now she gives it to us. Oh, <gasps> you guys, let's actually put it outside of her house. That should do it. We need to craft something, uh, maybe some stone. I'm actually out of stone because I crafted so many mossy stones to give away as gifts for winning our little competition. A wooden, 
<gasps> a wooden block stool! Why not? Let's craft a wooden block stool. That's a new thing that actually Puddles just recently taught me. Ooh, and I wish we had been able to give Pierce this key holder as our cop. That would have been so cool. But let's craft some wooden block toys real quick. There we go. And then let's go ahead and let's craft a wooden block stool. And, like, what other stool type things could we make? Let's see. Actually, this wooden mini table would be really pretty and we could recolor it. We also know how to make a wooden waste bin now, which I think is adorable. A log stool. The wooden block stool is kind of really cute and it does sort of remind me of Mirage. Midge, even. Sorry. I For some reason, I want to call her Mirage. Um, wooden mini table. You know what? Let's craft it and just see what it turns out like. All right, all right. If we could make it yellow, I could totally see that fitting her. And hi, Persimmon. Good morning. It's so good to see you. Oh my gosh, there is just so much to always do in Wildberry. I love it. Oh, darn. And we can't actually customize this harp. So the white harp that I actually saw on somebody else's island must have actually been because you can buy different color harps. All right, got it. Meanwhile... Oh, oh, you can make it yellow. <laughs> I think that's Mitch's favorite color, but I think pastel would be even cuter. Uh, we could also do mixed wood, which might look really nice, but I think pastel, like, let's do pastel. I'm pretty sure that Midge's favorite color is yellow, but I could totally see putting the cute player out like this for her. Oh, are these two talking now? Oh my gosh, are they fishing together? Whoops, didn't mean to bump them. Oh, that's so cute. They are talking together. That poetry book you lent me is legit legit, Mitch. Okay, that's adorable. I can feel my artistic side, you know, blossoming. I so need to go make something ASAP as possible, Splash. I'm so glad you like it, Puddles. Come to think of it, even your choice of phrase sounds more inspired. Yeah? I always try to think in, like, song lyrics, but now I've stepped it up. Hey, Midge, would you like to use it too? Splash! Really? Thank you! I'll start right away, Splash. I wonder if I still sound as inspired as you now, Splash. Okay, they are precious. My villagers are definitely utilizing their library because they are just talking non-stop about being able to um, learn from each other and do their little cookbook competitions. Where the heck and heck? I know I heard you! Guys, I know I heard a balloon. But I do not see a balloon. Also, our poor village. Maybe next week we'll just have like a cleanup week. Oh, there it is! Because we have so much to clean up. It's it's kind of scary. Alright, winds above Wildberry. What do you go ahead and give us this time? We have got 5,000 bells! Oh, thank goodness. A little bit closer to being able to pay my darling off. And then here's the accessory stand. Oh. <gasps> I love the idea that Puddles either picked out all of this fashion for us or she made some of these because that would be precious. And then we've also got the alto saxophone. Hmm. That seems like a very Julian thing. Oh my gosh, I'm going to go leave that over by Julian's house. All right, let's put away his harp and we'll put down... I'm going to put the little music player for Midge like right back here. And that way, let's see, can I push it back? Yes. And then music player. And we'll leave like a cute song playing back here. Maybe still cupcakes. What does, what would Midge like? I feel like bubblegum is more a puddles thing. I feel like, Hmm. Still Cupcakes. Still Cupcakes is 100% uh, the gentle song that I think Midge would really like. Alright, and let's put down- not the saxophone. <laughs> let's put down the harp. There we go. Julian's harp is back where it belongs. And I kind of feel like the saxophone is just such a hilarious 
a hilarious thing. I'm gonna put the saxophone down here just to see if anybody ever uses it. I doubt they would. But I kind of love the idea of Julian just having like a saxophone sitting outside because that's the kind of guy he is. He just might pick it up. Glitter. All right, so now that we've taken care of all those things, we're actually going to run up to the still untidied. This whole island is such a mess. <laughs> all of these are gifts that still need to be sent out to the people who participated in our special frog catching competition. And then we're gonna run this way. Dun dun dun, dun dun dun. Ta da! This should hopefully be transformed and changed pretty soon. But for now, I'm gonna come down here and we're actually going to grab this catfish and this killifish, because I don't think I have actually given them to blathers just yet. And that frog is gonna stay for a special surprise that you'll either have seen on the live stream from last night or you will see in tomorrow's episode because something interesting is going to happen to that particular frog. All right, let's wiggle down here. There we go, there we go. All right, and jump over here. We're going to grab the violin beetle and we're also going to grab, I don't remember what the other little guy is, but I know I haven't given him to blathers either. All right, violin beetle. And then this guy. Now, what are you called again, friend? The nibble fish. So all of these and perhaps even the anchovy are new. And we're gonna see what blathers has to say about them. Because that's what we do here, appreciating the wonders of wildlife on Wildberry. Oh dear, I have to wake Blathers up. All right. Sorry, Blathers. Good morning, Blathers. I have some special, special, special donations. Should I get the worst of them out of the way? Okay, so we've already given him an anchovy. Let's give him a catfish just so he won't panic when I give him the violin beetle. All right. I would absolutely love to know more about the catfish. I can't wait to see the additions we've been putting in the zoo. Catfish don't have scales and are rather slimy. Believe it or not, this slime helps them breathe. Some species of catfish are nocturnal, and they'll feed on almost anything. They use a sucking, a suction action, uh, yeah, a suctioning action to pull in their food. Did I mention they can grow as large as you or I? And there you have it. Fascinating stuff, no? It really is. Catfish can get huge, so I'm glad that Blathers is talking a little bit about them. Maybe we'll have to catch some catfish in another competition in the future. Let's do the little killifish. Tell me about this tough little guy. I would love to know more facts about him. Ah, the magnificent killifish. Did you know that there are over 1,000 different species? My goodness, what a family tree to keep track of. My own favorite killifish species are the mangrove, which can live on land for weeks, breathing air. <gasps> That's really cool! And the, pardon me, the mumichog, the first fish ever to be brought to space. Okay, that's amazing. I wonder if the killifish you brought me is related to either of those intrepid explorers. Oh, wow, Blathers! That was really cool, you guys! I love learning more about all of the animals. Like, this is 100% a pixel biology and a joint wildberry wildlife operation to learn more about the creatures here. Violin beetle? Sorry, sorry, Blathers. The violin beetle gets its name from its shape. That is, some think it resembles the stringed instrument. If you ask me, this is an insult to violins! With its flat body and small head, the violin beetle looks nothing like nothing but a repulsive bug, plain and simple. In fact, it is so repulsive it oozes a foul liquid when frightened. Ugh, this insect strikes a sour note indeed. Anyhoot, my sincerest thanks. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Blathers. All right, and we have one more donation for now. Let's go ahead and give him the nibblefish! Tell me all about him. It must be very exciting for each month to pass for Blathers, because he knows there's going to be lots of new donations. Nibblefish are best known for their use in a certain skin treatment. 
This treatment has apparently been used for thousands of years. I have never experienced said treatment. Because they eat your dead skin with their little toothless mouths. Can you imagine anything so repellent? Actually, I can, because I totally did this. Blathers, way back at the beginning of the year, I went to the St. Louis Aquarium and there were nibble fish. And sure enough, I did indeed have nibble fish nibble on my skin. Which sounds really weird, but actually when I took my hands out, they were so, so smooth. And they had kind of picked and sucked off all of the dead skin. So my hands were super smooth. They felt really nice. I thought it was pretty awesome. I would probably only ever do it again if I had my own little personal population of nibblefish that I could tend to. Uh, but I, I really like them. Like, maybe I'll get some as a pet one day in the future. Please don't ask me any follow-up questions. Who? Thank you, Blathers. <laughs> All right, guys. So we have now added to even more of Wildberry's Wildlife Museum. Thank you, Blathers. Thank you very much. And I have to wonder how close we are to completing the Critterpedia. The month is already half over, and I'm hoping that we have donated. <gasps> we haven't donated the Queen Alexandria's butterfly yet? Oh, gosh. I've got a whole bunch of them sitting around as decoration, so we can totally work on that. But yeah, we'll have to go ahead. We'll have to make sure that we have donated everything that we have caught so far so that we aren't missing anybody. And then we might have to have a nice day, a future stream perhaps, where we just go through and we will do our best. Need to donate a frog and a bluegill. Oh, I had no idea I hadn't donated a bluegill or a loach yet. It's looking at me with reproach friends because surely we should have been able to donate a loach just yet. Oh, so useful to be able to tell like what you've already donated and what you haven't. <laughs> But all right, we're going to have to go ahead and we're going to have to try to catch more of the creatures of May and learn more about them in a, uh, a future live stream for sure. Oh my gosh, he fell asleep again. That is absolutely the cutest thing. Just so cute. But all right, guys, thank you so much for joining me on this special day where we are wishing Pierce adieu and we now have shown off our new security trees which I hope you guys will make good use of in the future. Remember, it's not spying if it's safety. And we'll invite Pierce back at some point in the future and be able to carry on with his story after he formally and officially gets his police training, which I think is going to be amazing. Oh, all right, so adieu, Pierce. We will have to go ahead and see which villager we will stumble on and vote to keep in our villager live stream tomorrow. Of course, trying to pick a villager that I don't have the amiibo card for so that it can be a totally new surprise. If you are watching this, do make sure to go over to our Twitch channel and give us a follow if you would like to join in on those festivities. I'm thinking maybe 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We'll have to see if the internet gods will behave with me. Ah, but most importantly, my friends, Thank you so much for joining me on the ever-evolving, somewhat chaotic, but deeply beloved world of Wildberry. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye!